For this exercise, use a non-slip mat to ensure that you do not slip. Get into the all fours position on your hands and knees. Keep your arms under the shoulders and your knees should be hip width apart. Your spine should be neutral. Now, plant your toes firmly into the mat. Raise your knees off the floor. Walk forwards four steps and then backwards four steps. Let's do this once again. Forward and back. And let's rest. You can repeat this exercise up to four times. Do remember to breathe normally while you're doing the exercise. 97% of babies are in the head down position, that is the vertex position at the time of birth. Some babies present breech, which means that they have either their legs or their buttocks in the birth canal. For a first time mother, it may be risky to deliver the baby vaginally and a caesarean section may be indicated. This exercise can help to encourage a baby to turn to the correct position. Do consult your doctor before you start doing this exercise. It is important to look for warning signs while doing this exercise to avoid any complications. Make sure you stop exercising if you feel pain in the pelvis, vagina or groin region. Also stop if you feel abdominal discomfort, if you feel shortness of breath, if there is any leakage or bleeding from the vagina, if you feel lightheaded or dizzy or if there is exceptional fetal activity. Ideally, you must start this exercise in the 32nd week of pregnancy for best results. Get an ultrasound done to ensure that there is no cord around the baby's neck. You can do the exercise till the time of birth. Best results are gained between week 32 to week 36. Keep in mind, do not work out on an empty stomach. Always eat a piece of fruit or any other light healthy snack prior to your workout. Have a safe pregnancy and a great birth. Take care.